Someday we'll get paid for this. Hello, friends. From high atop the Scrapple News Tower in downtown Philadelphia, it's time for Piggy of the Week. Thanks to AP Tecker's gratuitous, grievous, and just plain gross violations of station policies against, well, he knows what he did, and he should be ashamed. It is up to me, Brendan Squire, to deliver this week's Piggy. Driving home from the Dirty Jers the other day, after taking my son to see Oz the Great and Powerful, which was neither, I made sure to point out Camden's tent city in the shadow of the Ben Franklin Bridge, devastated lives and blue tarps as far as the eye could see. Yet, across the river in Philly, the Enquirer reports that we've got about 100,000 neglected properties collecting and or crumbling into dust, while schools close and city services suffer to the tune of at least 316 million in unpaid property taxes. The Nutter administration doesn't want to talk about that. Nor do they want to discuss the fact that tax collection only got worse under the Nutter administration. The Enquirer reports that the three single worst collection years since 1980 have been on Nutter's watch from 2009, 2010, and 2011. Furthermore, under Nutter, city land sales pretty much came to a standstill, keeping thousands of publicly owned vacant lots and empty homes unused and falling down. Meanwhile, the city just implemented AVI, the Actual Value Initiative, shifting 72 million in commercial property taxes to the residential base. There's a little incentive to move to Philadelphia, higher taxes and fewer public schools. And the administration doesn't want to talk about that either. What a contrast, eh? To the east, it's tarps and squalor. To the west, it's empty houses and a tax regime that makes the city even more inhospitable to ordinary people who just want to settle down and raise a family. And who do we have to thank for this inspiring leadership? Who is the glorious leader that pushed through these policies? Who took a bad situation and made it even worse? That would be your friend and mine, enemy of idiots and assholes everywhere, Mayor Michael Nutter, our piggy of the week. For young people to be home uh, where they're supposed to be home and for adults not to act like idiots and assholes, idiots and assholes, idiots and assholes. Some men really will rob you with a fountain pen or even a ballpoint pen. <laughs>